Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Woodworks and happy holidays. I wanted to share with you a project that my daughter and I built a couple of years ago. Um, just a real simple little birdhouse. Um, real basic. The fun part was is that I cut out all the pieces uh, beforehand and then I gave it to her as a gift uh, in pieces. The fun part was is that we spent time putting it together. We did all the assembly and it was a ton of fun. It was just a great way to spend a little time together down in the basement in the winter time um, building a little project. So I used um, actually a piece of redwood that I had and a couple pieces of cedar for the roof, um, but you can use whatever you like. Um, this piece of redwood actually had a hole in it that I thought was perfect for the opening for the, for the birdhouse. So, um, but she enjoyed doing it because she enjoyed hammering the nails in and she enjoyed sanding the edges and making it smooth, uh, making it smooth in the opening here um, for the birds to get in and out. Um, but it was kind of cool because we also just talked about the process of how to put it together. Like you don't necessarily want to attach the roof to the, to the front and the back first. Um, so it was just an opportunity to talk about how to construct it. Um, the fact that we would attach the bottom and the sides together first and actually make a structure and then put the roof on the top of that. Once it was all put together, there was a structure underneath of it. So that was pretty fun. Um, I just used a piece of uh, stainless steel hinge here to make uh, the roof open up so that you can clean out anything in the, after the birds have left uh, for, the, for the season. Um, so you can open it up and clean that out real easy. Got that stainless steel hinge here from our Rockler area. Um, in fact, we're gonna put some kits together this holiday season for you to just buy. So we'll have them here and available. There's a limited number of them though. Um, so it'll have all the pieces you need, including the hinge. We're gonna sell that for $24.99 plus shipping. If you order it online, $9.95 shipping. We'll put a link to that at the end of the video. If you wanna purchase one of those kits that you could do at home with your family this, this holiday season. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome into Woodworks Workshop today. We're gonna to be cutting out some pieces of Western Red Cedar to make some little birdhouse kits. We're making these available to you this holiday season. And you can build a nice little birdhouse similar to this with your friends and family at home uh, this holiday season. I'm getting set up right now to make some bevel cuts to make our roof. So it's a 30 degree bevel and you're gonna hinge this together on top of the birdhouse so that you can take a peek in there and see what uh, see what's happening inside the nest or clean it out at the end of the season. In order to make these cuts and these kits that we're working on today, I'm using some of our favorite tools back here, including this guy. This is the Ox Tough Carbon Marking Pencil. What I like about it is this nice little plastic carrying case. It's got a belt clip on it. It's got a built-in pencil sharpener, so keeps my Graph, replaceable graphite lead sharp all the time and protected in that little case in my pocket stored away ready to go that guy sells for I think $16 and we've got them available here at the store getting ready to cut some longer pieces with the bevel on it and I want a little extra support while I'm doing that so I've got my Supermax expandable roller conveyor set up here this sells for $250 I can adjust the height and I can adjust the length Great to use with a planer, joiner, router table, table saw like I have it set up here. Anything where I just need a little extra hand supporting that longer material like I do on my table saw today. Uh, got those in stock down here at the store as well. So working with my Western Red Cedar, I've got a couple of longer pieces and I've got my saw set up to my 30 degree bevel. One of the other things I'm gonna be using today is this gripper micro jig and it's got this grippy surface on the bottom here, and it really helps me keep control of my piece, whether that's on a router table or a table saw. Keeps my hand up elevated and out of the way, keeps my fingers away from the blade. It's got this adjustable center shoe on it, so whether I'm ripping a narrow piece or whether I'm ripping a little bit of wider piece, I can adjust this back and forth to make a path for the blade to travel through 
And again, keeping me totally protected because my hand is up here on the handle while the blade is underneath that shield down there. Well, I've got everything set up to make my bevel cuts. So I'm gonna move these things out of the way and we'll get started. Okay, so I got a lot of pieces to cut back here today. This is one of the roof pieces that came out of that long beveled piece that we made. This is seven inches long, and because I'm going back and forth between some different lengths, I've got my flag stop positioning system set up on my miter saw here for a few different positions. I've got a stop block that I made to do the front and the back of our birdhouse, which are measured at eight and seven eighths. So I use that for that length, but I want to make one for my seven inch pieces so that I can use the same position on my flag stop. So I'm going to do that. I know this is seven inches. I already measured that. I'm going to take that piece and I'm going to butt it up next to, my, and then I'm just going to butt this up next to my seven inch length roof. And I'm going to cut that piece to length. Now that's a piece of scrap and this I'm going to mark, oops, with a big seven inch mark on it. Now take my roof piece out of the way, slide my stop block up there next to my flag stop, grab my beveled piece, just like that. I want to make a new cut. Now, that's the same length as the piece I had before. So I'm ready to continue making some more of my roof pieces. Thanks for watching.